Hi there, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a book titled Anything You Want by the amazing author, Derek Sivers. So here we have the book with me, it's very nice. I normally read on Kindle, have uh, owning paperback versions, which is nice to have. Anytime I wanna give it to someone that wants to read it, then I can just pass it. That's only if they actually wanna read it. <laughs> just to make you familiar of how I structure my book notes, I have them under five main categories. So we have the book in three senses, my impressions, who should read a book, how it impacted me, and finally end off with some quotes from the book. And of course, I've time stamped the video, so feel free to just skip around to the sections you're most interested in. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. The book in three sentences, First, you don't need a huge amount of money when starting a business. It's actually better if you don't. I don't really imagine a bi a business having like, you know, a huge requirement for funding because, you know, it's not like really a massive company, like an industrial company. When you're just starting out, you're just building a product. You're just trying to get some customers real quick. And yeah, I don't really see any reason why you would want funding. So as a result, Sivis says that funding will take care of itself when you're building something that people genuinely want. In this case, CD Baby was just a hobby of his. It was mostly just help out his friends. However, it suddenly grew because people actually wanted it. And it was a problem that he solved for their customers. Second, focus on how you can provide the best product or service for your customers by having friendly human interactions with them. You don't have to be serious all the time as a business because you want to cater to them as much as possible. For example, Amazon is probably the best example I can think of because they have the whole like customer you know is always the right policy and it works really so remember in the end that it's the customers that come back constantly that grow your business it's not really the vcs or you know the funding people for example sivers had people with mbas like you know people in suits or whatever telling him oh we need the terms and conditions on your website or you know privacy policy and all of that sort of stuff and he didn't really care because it doesn't really impact the customer that much i don't think a customer really cares to look at your website and be like oh it doesn't have the terms and conditions but the point is that does your product provide the sort of value is it solving a problem that your customers genuinely want because that's all that matters really and third and finally, take matters into your own hands when necessary. So building a business is a great opportunity to learn new skills because you'll grow as fast as possible as you'll encounter new problems you've never really dealt with before. So the funny thing is that you see these guys, I guess you could call them entrepreneurs, that pitch the ideas to developers or just people that will be able to build their product. I'm wondering why don't you just learn it yourself and build it yourself? It's better in the process because you're going to be learning you're also going to be enjoying the journey hopefully if your you know goal is to you know learn something from it and also in the process make money don't get me wrong like obviously you want to make your money you got to pay your bills and stuff but it's not really ideal when you're always thinking okay money 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 instead of thinking okay i'm going to learn from this i'm going to be able to make a product people want and i'll feel good about it and in the process i will make money so as a result uh, civics means that the whole point of building business is to give you freedom to give you happiness and to also be fulfilling. My impressions. My first impression of the book was that it gave me a lot of insight into someone who was running a business successfully. It was straight to the point. It cut out all the fluff, which I really like in the book because you know I don't, I don't really care about stuff that's not really important to the whole like message of the book. But one message that stood out the most to me in anything you want was we should not be too worried about making a quick buck in business. We should think long term, enjoy the ride. I think he said like something about marathon, not a sprint. I don't know, I saw that somewhere. So it kind of relates to this. So the more your business is making, the more problems you're going to have. Well, that was in his case, which makes sense, right? You have a lot of more people that are relying on you. You have a lot of liabilities. It's kind of hard to just like be able to manage all this stuff. That's why he was like, your business shouldn't be running you, you should be running your business. However, the good story is that in the end, he sold a company for $22 million and he donated nearly all of the money to charity for musicians. Um, I'll link the article down below. It's really interesting read, it's really short. It's a nice article on why he did it if you want to learn more. So overall, my impression was that it was a great book, very entertaining to read and what could you not enjoy from it? You learn a lot. Who should read the book? I think everyone should definitely read the book. I know that it's more tailored to entrepreneurs, so even in the title it says, 40 lessons for a new kind of entrepreneur. Um, I definitely think that if you read it, you're gonna learn a lot of advice from it, which is especially useful in your life. And the best thing is that it's less than 100 pages long, so there really shouldn't be any of excuse to be like, oh, I don't have time or whatever. However, if you just don't like reading, like, you know, I don't want to force anyone to read something they don't enjoy. There's definitely a really nice place on YouTube by the author himself, which is basically just animations 
and it's going over chapters, well, so many like main chapters. And it's just a really nice short animation of him just reading over the chapter, but then having animations on the screen as well. Um, so I'll link that down in the description below, of course. After I read the book, I looked over those animations and I still find them really interesting to look back on every now and then. How the book has impacted me. Take matters into my own hands when necessary. I realized now that the whole process of learning anything is, you know, to enjoy it. And it's better to learn it than just skipping to the finish line of the end result. Because you don't really gain much out of it. Well, you know, you might gain something, but you'll gain a lot more from being in the process and you know, being patient of it. I believe this book got me to start journaling. I've read this book ages ago. So yeah, I think this book spoke about gratitude for every single, you know, little things you do in the day. It just got me into journaling and I think it's pretty solid. I did write an article about journaling. It's not really good. So if you want to look at that, you go on my website and you'll look at an article section. So if I do decide to ever, you know, make a product or service that I actually want to, you know, grow, I want to focus as much as possible on the product. I don't want to go around chasing hot topics. So for example, don't want to implement Bitcoin or something into our website for no reason if it's not going to benefit the customer at all, which I do see happening quite often. It's quite obvious not to do that. Maybe there's a benefit for the actual business and the customer. No idea. And finally, I now go into solving problems with the mentality of that I can solve this. I have the internet with me. I have a wealth of information all over the world. So if I do come across an issue, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem trying to find an answer. So which is something that a lot of us take for granted because we have the internet and yet we still always ask like the same questions saying, oh, you know, I don't know this, I don't know that. Just Google it, you know, there's, not, there's no shame in Googling stuff. So yeah, overall, I think that this book has impacted me with some nice benefits. I really enjoyed learning from it once again. <laughs> So here are some quotes in the book that I really find resonating and probably gonna look back on for reference in the future. So I'll read them out. I don't really know them off the top of my head. You'll notice that as my company got bigger, my stories about it were less happy. That was my lesson learned. I'm happier with five employees than with 85 and the happiest working alone. There's a big difference between being self-employed and being a business owner. Being self-employed feels like freedom until you realize that if you take time off, your business crumbles. To be a true business owner, Make it so that you can leave for a year and when he, when he came back, your business will be doing better than when he left. Yes, it may take longer. Yes, it may be inefficient. Yes, it may even cost you millions of dollars in lost opportunities because your business is growing slower because you're insisting on doing something yourself. But the whole point of doing anything is because it makes you happy. That's it. So that's it with the quotes and the overall book note. First of all, really appreciate you making the end video if you're here because I know it's a risk watching a new random person on youtube because you don't have an idea what to expect if you do you find this video somewhat valuable then feel free to leave a like and comment what you found valuable if you didn't then leave a comment explaining why because i'm trying to improve and your feedback is obviously going to be very valuable to me and also if you want to see more videos in the future feel free to subscribe i do want to start making more videos and yeah thanks for watching see ya